All right, Sam, you wanna you wanna help help looking for a job? I don't even know what kind of skills I have to to, to have a job. You don't. We can talk about it. We, yeah, we, we can. Yeah, we can go through your talent skills. Okay. And I, as mayor, you know, I'm running on a platform of giving people opportunities and bringing more events into the city. I want people to be out there. I want them experiencing life. You know, we're gonna. We need to get his whole story. We need to get his sob story. Okay. Okay. This is a publicity stunt. We're not doing this because we're nice people. It's true. I am not the nicest. Anyway, Samuel, tell us about yourself. I just got here. I came in off of the train. Hitched a ride, actually. Uh, okay. You're one of those train bums. Yeah, I guess you could say did you have that. A, did you have a bindle? Or spindle or whatever it's called? Thing on the end of the stick? A bundle? Is it a bundle? No, I had somebody take my bags oh. away from me. Oh, you got robbed. Okay. <laughs> oh, did you come here without a phone and stuff? I just recently got a phone. A fella actually bought one for me today. We're gonna need, I need you to come over here, Samuel. Yeah. Can you just like, can you stand like relatively close to that wall? Karen, now do a pose next to him. Should I be over here doing a double thumbs up? We're gonna do it before and after. Good? Yeah, I like this one. All right, Karen, get at it. I'll, I'll record. Now, Sam, you know, now that you've moved here, what are your goals in life besides finding a home? I would like to, uh, I would like to have a safe place to live and uh, never have to worry about food again. And, that's uh, good. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Live an easy life. How easy do you want to live? I mean, something when you, you want to get up in the morning and uh, enjoy your day and, you know, feeling safe. Uh, how do you feel when you get up in the morning now? Itchy. Scratchy. Oh, my God. Itchy and scratchy. Yeah, there's sometimes you get, like, bugs kind of crawling on you when you're sleeping in the street and shit. Uh, how big of a bug? I mean, you got roaches, you got spiders, you got okay. some gnats flying around your head. All right, so we have Sam here Flies. in a do rag with a cap and an oversized tee and uh, these nicely faded jeans. Is that it? Okay. Yeah. Hold on. You know, this is very street. I was appreciative of new clothing. Of course. And you see, it's got like the the pre-fade textures on it, and we took all that all that fabric. Uh, the cotton was actually grown in Zimbabwe. It's Zimbabwe cotton, and uh, the the yarns were woven on these special Japanese looms, you know. And we sourced them from these uh, these special mills, where they used uh, secret techniques oh, to dye all of the yarn. <laughs> What's up? Wait, no, keep, keep doing that thumb up. Keep doing that thumb up, home, Samuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. looks good. That looks good. Yeah, you yes. Look, you look happy. Yes. I feel a little happy. Do you feel alive, Samuel? I do feel alive. That's good, because you are alive. And, you You're know, alive, me You're as alive. mayor, I, w I want everyone to feel that same amount of alive. And that's the kind of fucking energy I'm trying to bring. And I'm trying to, like, reallocate toward the people because I cannot just hold all of this energy in for myself. I need to spread it to others like a venereal disease. Oh, that doesn't sound too pleasant, actually. Bad for press. Don't mention venereal disease. All right, all right. Cut out the venereal disease part. Okay. That, that doesn't hit with the target audience. All right, Easton, are we going to the next part? We're going to get him a job. Yes. Now you got a couple options. There's a Bergie shot up in the north. Then there's going to be Up and Adam on Vinewood Boulevard, where they do it Up and Adam style. And then there's Cluck and Bell, where you can get uh, fried chicken sandwiches. Let, okay, we'll go to Up and Adam. Uh, fucking Cluck and Bell is shit. Reasonable people work at Up and Adam. But I mean, like, sometimes I like that chicken sandwich, you know, with, like the spicy one with Didn't everything you on yell it. yell at somebody at Cluck and Bell? Just because I yell at people somewhere doesn't mean that I'm not welcome. That is a that is a losing that is a losing demographic, I think. So, Samuel, tell us more about yourself for the sob story. Well, I come from a 
a family of, uh, well, a long time ago, my ancestors had a delivery service. And, uh, uh -huh. then we moved into the state and, but then, uh, I tried to get a job and I couldn't hold it and I got fired and decided to move here and been living off the streets ever since. Okay. I'm for the streets. I love the streets. There we go. All right. Come on. I am a, you know, I'm a street walker. I walk the streets. Follow, follow Karen. I'm going to be filming behind. I can see why you want to walk behind her all the time. Who's that mean? Oh, nothing. Karen, I think he's hitting on you. That's my mayor. Hello, it is I, Karen O'Fell Dallas, here to buy a little bit of food for me and this man here, Samuel. Hello. Hello. Hi, what can I get mate? for you guys? Now, I want to get a combo plus, and for him, I'll get him a Fergie and a drink of his choice. What would you like to drink, sir? Oh, what, what are your options? We have a soda or water. A water will be just fine, thank you. And for you, ma'am? Now, I want to get, uh, you know, I want to get a cheeseburger. Huh? I want it oh. to be the triple stack, up and at style, with the grilled uh, jalapeno peppers. Okay. And then I will get nuggets, ghost pepper style. Right. And for the drink, I want to get a diet sprunk with extra sprunk and extra ice and extra cup and extra straw, and I'll get two of those. All right. Yeah. Give me one second. Sure. That's thank you. This thing. Yeah. Sometimes I can go for longer, but you know, once in a while, it's nice for a quickie. Always fun for a quickie. Mm -hmm. I'm always down for a quickie. You know, over in the up and at him bathroom, maybe at the bean machine, whatever. All right. Oh, that's the a cute mask triple... there, sir. Bacon Thank with you. the up and at em style and the uh, the grilled jalapenos and then the ghost pepper nuggies and then the spunk with extra spunk and extra ice and then the burger and the water for sir over there. Thank you. And just because, you know, you're going to be my mayor, I'll give you the mayor discount. I appreciate that. As your future mayor. Uh, now, the other reason why I was here as the mayor is... You know, Samuel here has been looking for a job, and he's wondering if any of you were able to hold an interview. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just a delivery manager. Um, my assistant manager and manager aren't in that's currently. Perfect. Wait, that's perfect. You, delivery manager. He used to he used to have a delivery thing. He yeah, his family owned a delivery company back in the day. Really? Do you have your license? I got one today, actually. Uh, can I see your license really quick? There you go. Thank you. All right. Okay. Yeah. Checks out. Um, okay. You're hired. Oh my God. Okay. Now photo op. Are you serious? Photo op. Yeah. Photo op. Yep. Hey, there you go. Perfect. All right. Hold on. All right. You think this is a good angle? This is a perfect angle actually. All right. Great. All right. Perfect. And just like that, That's we right. solved the homeless problem. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome, much. Samuel Burr. Oh, ain't that nice, ain't that nice. Yeah, and you want to know what's even nicer, man? She, that, that lady who just helped that homeless man running for mayor. She can help yeah. the whole city if you just let her. Oh, Samuel, I have your food over here. Hey. 